on June 6th, the 2024 astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams arrived there at the International Space Station. Yeah, they had launched to the orbiting outpost in a spaceship made by Boeing. It was supposed to be a 10 day mission. But after the Boeing vessel had some technical issues, it was sent back home empty. Butch and Sonny were told just stay on board the ISS. Today, though, they're finally one step closer to coming home. NASA and SpaceX prepare to launch a rocket to the International Space Station tonight. NBC's Tom Costello has more from the Kennedy Space Center. Arriving in Florida, NASA SpaceX Crew 10 preparing to launch to the space station on a six month rotation. We've been working a long time to be ready for launch and we are very, very excited uh, to be here. A mission that will also allow Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore to come home nine months after leaving Earth. It was last June 5th when Sonny and Butch launched on a brand new Boeing Starliner spaceship for a 10 day mission. But Starliner soon developed helium leaks and engine thruster problems. Worried that Starliner wasn't safe, NASA ordered Wilmore and Williams to stay on the station. Starliner came home empty, but only after a SpaceX Crew 9 ship arrived on station with just two crew members. Williams and Wilmore then joined Crew 9 for a six month stay on station. Sonny soon took over as space station commander, and they both carried out a critical five and a half hour spacewalk to repair a radio communications unit. That spacewalk, Williams' ninth overall, puts her in the record books for the most time spent in the vacuum of space by a woman. Now, nine months later, they still insist they're not angry and they don't feel NASA abandoned them. We came up prepared to stay long, even though we planned to stay short. That's what we do in human spaceflight. Only five NASA astronauts have ever spent more consecutive days in orbit than Sonny and Butch. The hardest part, says Sonny, is the impact on their families back on Earth. It's, it's been a roller coaster for them, probably a little bit more so than for us to not know exactly when we're coming back. We are just feel fortunate and thankful, though, that we have seats. And we'll be coming home, riding the plasma, splashing down in the ocean. Now, with Crew 10 preparing to launch, Sonny and Butch are preparing to come home. Honestly, I'm kind of most looking forward to breaking bread with those guys, talking to them, um, giving them big hugs. Tom Costello reporting. Launch time for Crew 10 is set for 7.48 tonight from NASA's Kennedy Space Center.